Hello, this is Ivan for watchandlearn.com and before we start this tutorial I just wanted to draw your attention to one thing. As we are going to be dealing with a lot of code in this video series, I wanted to make that code available to you. So if you go to this GitHub repository, uh, you will be able to get the code for the la latest episode. So the last episode that's on YouTube at the time you're watching this. For the previous episodes you can just click this releases uh, link right here and download the code for the episode you want. So right now we have just one episode you can download it here or download it from this uh, front page of the re repository. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. So in this episode we are going to set up our project and make it use Gulp instead of its default settings. Uh, this is because I really like using Gulp and its live reload is much better than the one you get out, out of the box with middleman. For example, uh, when you use Gulp and uh, its live reload actually injects your CSS into the file, uh, into the br browser so you can see the changes. Uh, it doesn't actually uh, do like a full refresh of the page. Uh, but middleman gulp uh, sometimes does that. I noticed so it would you would change something in the CSS and it would uh, it would refresh the whole page instead of just inject injecting that CSS into the parts uh, you changed. Uh, there is also one thing I forgot to mention about middleman in the in the last video, and that's. Uh, that the middleman supports SES out of the box. Just like it has a live reload, you can use SES uh, immediately. So the only thing you need to do is, uh, I'm here in my, in our last middleman project, in our last site. Uh, I will start the server now. So middleman server. Okay. And as you can see, Right now in the style sheets folder we have all that CSS and normalize that CSS. What we are going to do now to start using CSS, we can just do this. I will just rename this file from all that CSS to all that CSS dot scss and press enter. And now I can use CSS. So if I change something here, for example, if I remove this and change the background to zero zero zero. We will get whole black site now. If we change it to white, we will get white. If we uh, let's say want to make a variable, so we can say white is FFF, and we call that variable here. Actually, we'll make it red not white. And we go to background and call that variable. Save. This is what we'll get. So the SAS works out of the box. You just have to rename uh, the style sheets from CSS to dot CSS uh, dot CSS dot SCSS. It's really hard to <laughs> to pronounce that. Okay, so that's about CSS. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to start uh, our new project. So as I said before, first of all, we're going to initialize our new project. It's not going to be called my site anymore. It's going to be called Watch Learn. Uh, because as I've said in the video number one, uh, we're going to take this site right here and uh, make it run on middleman instead of WordPress. So let's go to I will go to my sites folder you can do this anywhere you want on your computer and just run middleman in it in it uh, watch learn okay and now we wait a bit so once this is done uh, I can I will go to my site our new site Watch learn, and I will open it in Sublime Text. Oh, 
Okay, I'll just move this right here. Actually, right here. Come on, Mac. <laughs> I accidentally uh, go on full screen for some reason. I don't even know how I did that. So I'll go right here. Okay. Uh, and now we have our watch learn site uh, open. So the next thing I'm going to do is, if you remember two videos before, this, this video right here, so using and installing new Olympus team, I realized that I have many things def already defined in this Olympus team. So you can go to GitHub and download the stuff you need. So uh, what I'm going to be using here is I'm going to be using this package.json file, gulp.js file and these SAS files. We're of course going to those files so that they work good with middleman. Okay, I'm just going to download this zip file, put it on my desktop, save it, open it up, and uh, right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into this folder and take all the things from a SAS folder and put them in my watch learn folder so watch learn source style sheets so I'm just going to get those files and put them right here and I'm actually going to delete uh, files called all CSS and normalize CSS because I don't need them I'm going to be using the configuration uh, from my Olympus team so the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take uh, this gulp file and put it in the root, not in the source, but in the root. So I'm going to uh, take uh, gulp file JS and move it here, and I'm going to take package JSON file and put it right here. So with the package JSON. I'm going to uh, run it, so I will install install all my node modules uh, that I need for the Gulf to work. And we're going to do that by doing this. So I'm in Watch and Learn right now, so I'm going to do sudo npm install. And of course, we would have to wait a little bit for this installation to finish. Okay, so once this is done, uh, we're going to have our node modules installed. So if we go here, we will have node, mo node modules right here. Okay, I will run the site now. So I'm going to go to my uh, terminal, I'm going to go to watchlearn.com and I'm just going to do middleman server. In this configuration we didn't go to config.rb and uh, comment out this activate live reload because we don't need it. We're going to be using Gulp's live reload. As I said before, I think it's much better than uh, using this out, out of the box li live reload because it works much faster. Okay, let's take a look at the, our gulp file. We have to change it, of course. We have to change it because this gulp file was made for the Olympus team. And what we want to do is we want to use it on our middleman site. So in the gulp file, we're going to go uh, and take a look at this, first of all, this image minimize task. So I'm going to uh, do this. I'm going to remove all of this. And since my images are in the source images, I'm going to change this path. Okay, source images. And I'm going to just copy it right here. Okay. So uh, next thing 
uh, we, we will take a look at this SAS task. So this is actually the gulp task that will compile our CSS. As I said before, middleman can do this for you. But as we would don't want our files to be called, uh, I don't know, fonts.css.scss, uh, we will just use source. source and uh, it's not called says right now but it's called style sheets style sheets and I'm just going to copy this right here okay now for the uglify task we don't need it we don't need the uglify task because uh, middleman does this for us so I already explained this before so in our javascripts we have this all.js and in here we're going to put our jQuery uh, this required tree means that all the files in javascripts folder will be concatenated into one file so we don't need uglify for that it will minify the scripts for us and so on so when we build the site we will end up with only one JS file that is going to be called all.js and that's it. So we're going to leave that be. Actually we can remove uglify altogether and then for the watch task. So we have our, our live reload here and let's see we have uglify right here we don't need it so we're going to remove it uh, else we get an error. Okay so I think that's it there are some other things actually we have to do so uh, this right here we can just paste things from before so source style sheets all directories dot scss okay so we will be watching following files so we will be watching style.css so source style sheets style.css so this is the main uh, style file that we will be watching uh, also we won't be watching any PHP files be because we won't have them in our uh, middleman install uh, we won't be watching any JS files actually we will be watching them we will be watching JS files uh, because for live reload to work we have to uh, tell it to watch the JS files and once we do change to let's say our our old JS file it will automatically live reload the browser and uh, display the changes so we will just do source source uh, javascripts okay and then uh, this is PHP also we won't be watching them but actually I'm not going to delete all of that I'm just going to do source source okay and then we are going to be watching all of the ERB files okay so this line tells it to watch all the directories or folders and uh, all the ERB files in those folders so first ERB file we have is index.html.erb and I think that's it there will be, there will be uh, one more thing we would have to change but I, I will show you that a bit later okay so let's see if this works now so first of all we're going to run gulp so I'm going to go to my terminal and run gulp right here seems everything is working okay uh, but in my other terminal window I'm going to run middleman and I'm just going to take this URL 
and paste it into my browser. Now as you can see we get uh, this middleman message hello world hello world uh, but it has no stylings it has no stylings because if we look at the page source uh, we can see that it's calling style sheets normalize.css and style sheets all.css it's calling them from this file so if we go to layouts layout.erb we can see this special erb tag uh, which is using this style sheet link tag helper uh, to call normalize.css and all.css the file that we are going to be using for our CSS is going to be called style.css so I'm going to remove this all and just write style now the problem with this is is we don't have style.css as of yet this is because uh, the gulp didn't run even once to compile all the CSS files so if we go just to this style.css and just make some small change and then save it as you can see gulp run and we have we now have style.css and style.css map okay so uh, the SAS is running okay let's see if live reload works so if I go to let's say globals.scss uh, I'm going to go to my browser and first of all turn on live reload plugin okay and let's try to change background of the body to be black so this didn't work this probably didn't work because uh, Gulp didn't quite catch this style.css file so I'm going to restart Gulp okay and try it now I'm also going to restart this live reload plugin let's say try to change it to red it didn't work again okay if this happens to you then also restart middleman so let's restart middleman or maybe the gulp file does work very well and I'm also going to restart this live reload okay let's now change the background and it still didn't work I don't know why let me just see right here as you can see this says that the style.css reloaded let's try running gulp watch one more time third times the charm so please work it doesn't work I don't know you're embarrassing me come on I don't know why, why this doesn't work right now so if we go to gulp file let's see gulp watch source style sheet style.css we have the uh, style.css everything seems to be working but it's not working for some reason and it actually says the style is, is reloaded but it's not okay let's try it now okay now it works so I actually just needed to refresh the page once uh, probably because I restarted the server so something ha happened there okay let's see if this live reload works on um, ERB files so just to be sure let's try to change this one more time so I'm going to change it to black okay now now it works definitely okay uh, oh, let's take check out this index.html.erb uh, file and remove this hello world so we have hello world hello world and I'm going to remove one hello world save it and as you can see nothing happened but I expected this this happens because uh, middleman has to take this file 
this file which may have some ERB tags in it and so on and compile it. So uh, the gulp reloads the file before the middleman gets the chance to compile it. Uh, sometimes it does work, sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, it all depends on the speed of the middleman. So the gulp JS is very fast, so it usually does the work before the middleman gets to do that work. So to make this work, the CSS is going to be fine, so it's going to be injecting into our browser and so on. But uh, for ERB files, that's a little bit more complicated. So, so we are going to uh, make some little changes to this gulp file.js just to make uh, this live reload work as it should. So first of all I'm going to make a new variable and call it wait and require uh, a gulp plugin called gulp wait. Wire gulp wait. Okay, so if we don't have this gulp wait installed, so we're going to install it now. I'm going to close out of my gulp uh, task right now and just do npm install gulp wait save so this is going to install gulp wait plugin into my node modules so it uh, tells me that I don't have some right permissions and so on okay so if you get this error just do sudo npm install gulp wait okay and we wait for a little bit okay now we now we should have a uh, gulp wait installed what I'm gonna do now is just paste some code right here L right at the end uh, of this watch task so this is from my previous project I didn't wanna bother you with writing this all out so what this does is actually uh, take takes this source so all ERB files pipes them and tells them to wait one second and then it runs live reload on this server so we did that because as I said before uh, gulp usually runs before middleman so in in the case of CSS files that's not a problem because middleman doesn't have to compile CSS files actually SCSS files. It doesn't have to compile them because Gulp compiles them. But uh, middleman has to compile those ERB files because they use special tags and so on. So with, with this command we're telling it okay if there is a change in the ERB file please wait one second before middle, middleman has the chance to compile it all and then run ra uh, live reload. So I hope this works. So if we go to our terminal and run gulp watch again okay everything seems fine uh, let's go here refresh this and so now we have just one hello world let's add another hello world right here and save it okay just like before oh sorry we didn't do uh, one thing which was stupid so in gulp file js so we also did live reload on this right here so we should remove that we are calling, calling grb files right here so we should remove those uh, from our regular uh, gulp live reload. Okay, let's try doing this again. Gulp watch. Refresh the page. Uh, and
and we also have to restart uh, middleman and let's do one more hello world right here I'm going to restart this also just <laughs> so we don't get any more errors okay now it works so if we remove this as you can see this works now so as I said before this uh, could work even without uh, this, this, these lines of code it probably could work in some cases but in some cases it won't so it's better to wait for one second uh, than to have to actually refresh the page yourself I mean <laughs> if you're re really lazy like me okay so I think this is about it for this episode of course if you don't like using gulp you can just uh, use uh, out of the box middleman it won't make any difference but I like using gulp uh, with all my projects so I'm like using it on my middleman projects and this is the way you set it up okay I hope you guys like this episode uh, you saw some errors that you can get and how you can fix them so I hope this will help you also uh, please follow me on Twitter on Facebook uh, if you like this video please like it and subscribe to my channel if you like these videos in the next episode we are actually finally going to start building out uh, watchandlearn.com new page so see you in the next one